what's going on guys welcome to the channel uh, today I'm going to show you how you can send email using Microsoft PowerShell or Windows PowerShell okay so from this lesson uh, you will be able to send email from any SMTP server uh, that you have so for example if you want to use Gmail SMTP server or you want to use your own personal mailing server as long as it is supports SMTP uh, you will be able to send mail from it okay but for this uh, tutorial we are going to use Office 365 SMTP server and as well for the receiving email will be uh, Office 365 so uh, to begin and uh, let me just show you so this is the tenant and this is the account that i'm going to use to test the email so for sending and as well for receiving okay so we can begin coding the code so the editor that i'm using uh, is uh, microsoft visual studio so you can use any editor that you want okay so we can begin uh, scripting so the first variable that I'm going to define is for password. I'm going to call it pwd run and here we're going to store uh, our password. So this password is for uh, the account that we're going to send the email from. So I'm going to specify a comment right here and call it password so the next thing will be to convert uh, our plain password into a secure password to do that i'm going to just to name it pwd and then call it two and then i'm going to call command line convert convert to secure string and then I'm going to pass in PWD1. Okay, that is the password. In plain text, PW1 is the plain uh, text. And then we're going to use this commandlet to convert it into a secure string. So the parameter for this uh, commandlet is as plain text. And then we force to change. Okay, we have already defined uh, the password uh, for the email account that we're going to send email from. So now we need another variable to host now the email account itself. I'm going to start with a comment and call it email account to send email from. The variable I'm going to call it send mbx here the account that i'm going to use is that one so this is the account this one here this is the mailbox that i'm going to use to send email from and as well to send uh, to myself Okay, so I'm going to define it as that. You can add your email account there. The next variable will be now uh, the email account that we want to send to. So I'm going to use same email account. So for the common email account to receive email the variable name i'm going to call it receive mbx here i'm going to use the same email address so i'm going to send uh send to myself the email if you want to send to multiple users uh here on the receiving email account you can just add comma and then now you add the next the the other email account that you want to send an email to okay for my case i'm going to use one 
in our account. Moving to next, we need to define the body of our email. So body variable should be in our body. And then I'm going just to, to type this is a test email from Office 365 and test email from Windows partial partial application. Okay, I'm going to call that. The next thing now to define is the properties of the email itself. So I'm going to call uh, the variable as, so let me start with a common and call it properties of the email. Okay, so the first thing that we need to define right here is props. That is the format of the properties of our email. So the first prop is the SMTP server. SMTP server. In my case, I'm using Office 365, so it should be smtp.office365.com. The next variable is from where we send an email from. This I'm going to add now from, so it should be the send mbx variable. We pass in that variable just like that. The next is to where we're sending email to. So the receive MBX variable, we're going to pass it that way. The next is subject of our email. And here I just need to define the subject there like testing email from Asha. That is the subject of our email. The next property is pot that we're going to use. And this is 587. You can use 25 as well if 587 doesn't work. The next property now is the credential. Credential will host uh, the username and password to log in to the account that we want to send email from. So the way we define this is new. new object and then we call system to be system dot management dot automate should be automation if I'm not wrong that PS PS credential, we should have it there. PS credential right there. This should be into bracket. And then here we can pass in the email address that we want to send email from and as well the password or the account that we want to send email from. So here the variable should be send mbx comma and then the password and now for the password we need to specify the secure string password so it should be pwd underscore two
like that. Now, once you define your email properties, the next thing is to call send. Message should be send message commandlet. And then from here, we can pass in our call our property. Our email properties is uh, last uh, should uh, the arc and m props this this one so we're not going to pass with the dollar we're going to pass in with art and then props the name of the variable itself and since we didn't add our body within the props which we can as well add i'm going to pass in uh, the variable body because it's outside the properties block right there so here i'm just going to write body okay so with that now we can test our script so one more thing i need to add my password here to log in to this account unattended so you can add your password there Once you add your password, now you can copy your script and paste it in PowerShell. So I'm gonna copy the entire script. So Control A, Control C, and then open PowerShell window right here, and then paste the entire code. And I will press Enter. Okay, we have an error, and as you can see, error in processing response. The name of error is start TLS is required to send email, and I know why because we didn't. Office 365 always accepts email from uh, a secure channel, so we need to specify SSL as true. So you know, back in our variable in our code we can add another variable just here and call it use as a cell and then is true we turn it true now we can copy our code again control a control c go to partial let me clear the screen try to zoom out a little bit and paste the code then i press enter and then wait and as you can see it has completed successfully and now i can e open my mailbox go to inbox and as you can see i have received an email the subject is testing email from partial and we have the body this is a test email from windows partial application just as we had defined okay so you can see the email is coming from this account just as we had defined it and as well sending to ourselves so if i can just go back it's the same so as you can see now our script is working so that's how simple you can implement uh, a script that can be able to send uh, email using any SMTP server within PowerShell. So if you want to use Gmail, you can define your SMTP right here and call it SMTP at gmail.com. So you just need to change the value of SMTP server uh, attribute. Okay. So guys, I hope you learned something from this tutorial today and thank you for watching bye bye